guys so for this video i'm using a yarn in size 4 medium it's a uh, kind of like has a a metallic uh, strand in it it's like a holiday yarn crochet hook is in size 5 millimeters so start by making a slip knot now i'll chain 19 So now that I've chained 19, I'll skip 6 chains from the hook, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and through the 7th chain from the hook I'll make 1 double crochet. I'll chain 1, I'll skip 1 chain and through the 2nd chain I'll make 1 double crochet, chain 1, Skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through his last chain, I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row one. Now for row two, I'll turn my work around, then I'll chain four. Now through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through his next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now I'll chain one, and I'll skip this one chain into a second turning chain. I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row two. So we repeat this until we have six rows in total. Now that we have six rows, I'll chain one, then I will cut this yarn. Now we're going to form the square into a heart. We'll work on this side, right side, and on that left side. So we'll start from here one, two, three, four. So right here through this fourth double crochet chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook uh, through this uh, slip knot loop I'm just about to make. and pull through. Now chain 5, then I'll skip 1 double crochet chain into a second double crochet chain, I'll make 1 single crochet. Now through his next 1 chain loop I'll make a slip stitch and through his next double crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll turn my work around now right here through this loop, through this 5 chain loop, I'll make 12 double crochet. Now I'll skip this next double crochet chain and through this next one chain loop I'll make one slip stitch. Now through this next double crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. Then through this next two chains I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll turn my work around again and I'll chain uh, one. 
Now through this first double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through the next double crochet chain, one double crochet. Chain one. Through the next double crochet chain, one double crochet. Chain one. Through the next chain, one double crochet. Chain one. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this 12 times. We make one double crochet with one chain in between through every double crochet through the shell. So let's see how many we have so far. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We need one more. Now I will chain one and right here to this last double crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes this one side of the heart for now. Now I'll actually ch chain one and cut this yarn so I can I don't have to do too many slip stitches. Now we repeat the same thing, but only on the left side. Well, not only, we already finished right side, but so we do the same for the left side. So we have one, two, three. We go one, two, three. So right through that chain, and check my hook, and check my through a slip knot loop, and pull through. Now I'll chain five, then I'll skip this next line here where we ended the first row, see here, where it's supposed to be double crochet. Then through the second one, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll make uh, two slip stitches right here through this loop, next loop, then a slip stitch right here through this uh, next chain. Now I'll turn my work around and right here through this uh, 5 chain loop I'll make 12 double crochet. Now, right here through this next chain, see right here? This line is, I'll make a slip stitch. Again, through this next loop, I'll make two slip stitches. Then, right here through this line, I'll make a slip stitch. Now, I'll turn my work around. I'll chain one. Then, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one the next chain one double crochet chain one through the next chain one double crochet so we repeat this 12 times we make uh, one double crochet with one chain in between through 12 of these double crochets Let's see how many we have. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 12. Now, right here, see where you have this turning chain? Right through that third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Well, for now, I'm going to chain one, then I'll cut this yarn because I want to weave these ends in, and then I'll come back and make one more row. Well, now that I weave the ends in, 
I'm gonna make one more row. So I'll start right here at the center from here through this one chain loop. Then I insert the hook to the slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain one and through the same one chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Now through this next one chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Now I'll chain three, then through the third chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. Through this next one chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. Through the next one chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. Then through the next one chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Again, chain three, through this third chain from the hook, one slip stitch, through the next one chain loop, one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from the hook, a slip stitch, then through the next one chain loop, one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from the hook, one slip stitch, through the next one chain loop, one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch, then through the next one chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from a hook one slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from a hook a slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from a hook a slip stitch, through the next one chain loop single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from a hook a slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from a hook slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from a hook a slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from a hook a slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from a hook a slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from a hook slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from the hook slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Chain three, through the third chain from the hook one slip stitch, through the next one chain loop one single crochet. Now I'll chain three, then through the third chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch, then through that same loop now I'll make one single crochet. Again I'll chain three, through the third chain from the hook slip stitch, then through this next uh, loop I'll make one single crochet. So I'll repeat this all around our work. See we have already finished one side, now we we'll repeat the same thing for the, the other side. Now to finish this row, right here through this first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch, then I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. Now I'll just weave these ends in and we will be done. actually turned out pretty pretty good.
pretty good. Let's measure this heart. Do you have a big heart or a small heart? I actually saw an image, well not recently, quite a few years ago to be quite honest. And they say that um, when you're little, your heart is huge and pure. But as we get uh, older, taller, but you know, they are trying to say taller. But as we get older, you know, our heart is not as nice and pure as it was when we were little. I never thought of that, but I thought it was actually rather sad. It's seven inches wide and the longest part also seven inches. 